Human beings are each gifted with the capacity to be a learning, evolving, creative creature. And we don't seem to fully grasp yet that there's no reason to hold anybody back. There's no reason to say, well, that person can only do that, or this person can only do this. They can do whatever they can creatively generate in their own thinking. And so there's all these debates about, well, college is only for these people or those people and so forth. And I'm not saying that college is for everyone. Learning is for everyone. Adaptation is for everyone. If we can make our universities produce master learners more dedicated to the breadth of our society, more dedicated to the betterment of our society, more dedicated to the betterment of our democracy. If we can do that also, we will have had a major impact on the outcome of humanity. So our charter has emerged with three principal component parts to it. The first part is that we will be an institution uh, deeply committed to inclusion and the success of our students as opposed to exclusion. We have a mission and a commitment to providing an open, accessible education to the community in which we're embedded. The more um, individuals that we leave on the fray, the higher likelihood they won't reach their potential, that they won't be able to have that one meaningful conversation that changes everything. Things are changing so rapidly that when we graduate a student, much of what they know in terms of specifics is going to be obsolete in a matter of years. We're trying to produce a person capable of learning anything. We call it an adaptive university as opposed to a rigid university. It's a very different objective. The world as it moves forward, we'll see more and more complex problems. And the only way we can deal with these problems and come up with solutions is if students think in these expansive terms. If you're an engineer, it's very easy to work with policy people, with economists. If you're a social scientist, it's very easy to work with a physical scientist or an engineer. That's hard to do at a lot of universities. It's easy to do here. And it's important because a lot of the problems that the real world is facing us with need that kind of multidisciplinary approach. There are people here that specialize in whatever it is you're interested in. It is definitely an advantage of having a larger university with a, a large faculty. Our research activity will be measured by the impact that we have on the public good. Not the academic good only, but the public good. Did we better the outcome of our community or not in a measurable way? You'll be challenged here to really look beyond just a career and just some academic path that you're following, but to see that what does that mean for the greater good of the world. When you do something well, you can take it out in the world and you can make it a better world. And if people know that, if people know that's what they can do, it's enormously empowering. It's enormously gratifying. It's our job and our professional but also moral imperative to to get the, the findings of our research into the hands of the everyday person that can actually use and consume and turn around this research for the betterment of their workplaces or their local focuses of control. So if you leave ASU with this confidence that yes I know how to approach a problem, I know how to tackle it, and I know how to produce a good solution in a team, then that becomes a really powerful tool that you can use in any job that you may have. Very few colleges or universities could even complete the debate about whether or not they should take responsibility for the broader community. Uh, we have completed that debate. We have launched that mission. We are underway relative to that element of our charter. So in 12 years, we have proven that uh, we can do it, that the institution has been transformed to be able to carry out that very complex charter. Uh, and that the charter is now the reason for existence of the institution. So what we're doing is we are training the next generation of leaders. These students are learning something specific about a topic that interests them, but they're also learning these critically important concepts that will shape the way that they approach the rest of their lives. The culture of a major research-driven public university in the United States has been inextricably and forever altered to be focused on the success of the student and the success of the community, and that every asset of those individuals in the university, every ounce of energy that they have, 
is devoted to those two things and that at that university, through years of demonstrated proof, the students being produced at that university, regardless of their family circumstance, are as capable or more capable than the students being produced at any university.